Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Franklin Park Zoo. My name is Dan, I'm an educator here. Uh, and we are with Maisie, the Cuban rock iguana in the meeting barn. So we just wanna thank uh, MIFA. Today's Zoo to You is brought to you by MIFA on behalf of the U Fund College Investing Plan. Uh, so today, like I said, this is Maisie. She's one of our Cuban rock iguana um, and she's part of our animal ambassador collection. And some of you might be wondering what is the Animal Ambassador Collection? Uh, so that is animals that education uses just for programs, we use for summer camp, virtual encounters, uh, or even in-person encounters. Uh, so if you were to find Maisie, uh, you wouldn't be able to find her on exhibit at the zoo because uh, she lives behind the scenes. So this is truly a special opportunity for you guys to check out Maisie and all the cool stuff um, that she does. So you can see this perch here um, is designed for Maisie to just be able to hang out. Um, it is natural for them in their habitat to climb up trees like this um, and kind of perch there along the water. Um, they live in Cuba, in the Cuban coast. Um, so that environment is where they feel most at home and this perch is great for them. Um, I wanna give a shout out to the junior zookeepers at Franklin Park Zoo Camp for painting this beautiful perch here for Maisie. So uh, these iguanas are omnivores. Uh, so they mostly eat fruits, flowers, insects, snails, um, any kind of little insects they can get their hands on. In uh, captivity, uh, and what we feed her um, for our animal ambassador collection is kind of a bed of different greens she gets fruits sometimes, uh, and then she also gets crickets, um, which is fun for her. And it looks like she's posing right for the camera there. Um, and she loves when we actually give her scratches just like this. Uh, this is stimulating for the animal, uh, and she really enjoys these scratches um, because it's kind of just like how we would like our back scratched as humans. Um, and it's the same for Maisie. So when I'm giving her these scratches with this back scratcher here, um, she's going to be able to feel a little bit more comfortable. And it looks like she's given an eye to the camera, which is really funny. So Martha Bowen has a question. Uh, why isn't she on exhibit? Why isn't she on exhibit? That's a great question, Martha. Uh, so she's an education ambassador animal meaning uh, we use her for programs a lot. So it would be kind of a double time role if she were on exhibit and doing programs. So be able to rest our animals a little bit. Uh, she's gonna live behind the scenes while we're doing programs at summer camp, virtual encounters, animal encounters, the like. So yeah, thank you for your question, Martha. And Abby Zonis has a question. Um, was she born at the zoo? She was not born at the zoo. So we actually uh, acquired Maisie in spring 221. Uh, she was someone's um, pet. Um, so she's actually very used to humans. Um, as you can she see, she hasn't really been wiggling around at all. Um, and she's kind of watching us all. And we really get that, that scratching um, from her previous owner because um, she really liked that. That's a good way to train her and reinforce her. So thank you for your question, Abby. Uh, if you zoom into the tail here, iguanas are able to defend themselves um, by swinging back and forth this tail. Um, it's very long tail and that can cause like a lot of injury to animals um, if they're feeling in danger. Uh, they can also climb up trees with those long claws they have. Um, and if they're feeling threatened from like a bird or a land mammal, they can jump into the water um, and they can actually hold their breath for up to 30 minutes which is quite impressive. Uh, question from Nora, do iguanas lay eggs or give live birth? Iguan That's a great question, Nora. Uh, the iguanas lay eggs. Um, so their clutch size, meaning how many eggs they, give, uh, they lay, uh, is usually around two to 16. Um, so that's a fair amount of eggs. Um, I'm not exactly sure how many survive from that clutch, uh, but that's a good question. Uh, so like I was saying, um, 
how the iguana gets away from like predators, it's going to climb up high in a tree, almost like you see here, and then it will go down, jump into the water, and it can escape in the water for as long as he wants. Uh, Peter, you look like you have a pretty good close-up of Maisie shedding here, so if you get a close-up of this, it's actually she's shedding her scales right now. So doesn't look the prettiest, but that's a natural thing that all reptiles do. Um, they need to shed their skin to be able to get a new coat, um, kind of like us changing our clothes. These reptiles are just going to shed their scales. Caitlin has a question. What is her favorite food? Ooh, that's a great question. Uh, I would say her favorite food is probably something um, fruit. I know she's really known to like like mango uh, and papaya. Uh, she also really likes cactus pads. And I'm not sure we've been able to give her that opportunity yet, uh, but that's something that she would eat in Cuba. Um, so it looks like Maisie went to the bathroom, which is totally normal for something on our programs. Uh, these animals are wild in a sense, so we can't control when or when they would like to go to the bathroom. Uh, question from Kirsten, how long do iguanas live typically? Oh, that's a great question, Kirsten. Uh, iguanas typically live about two to 16 years. Um, Maisie is about 10 years old, so they're gonna live a little bit longer in captivity. Uh, just because they have excellent animal care from our animal ambassador specialists. Uh, they get their shots. They get a really rich diet that they might not get in the wild. Uh, so it's really keen for them to uh, live a long time uh, when they're at a zoo or they're under human care. Another good question from Martha. Does she have a heated enclosure? That's a great question, Martha. Yeah, so she does have a heated enclosure. Um, and it actually... Uh, she gets a mister that goes into your enclosure too. Um, if anyone's been to Cuba, they know it's really humid there. Uh, so we need to make sure that Maisie is getting that humidity in her exhibit. Um, she also has bowls of water in her exhibit and some logs for her to climb under and play with. So these Cuban rock iguanas are threatened species. Uh, they're threatened due to rising sea levels um, and actually reintroduction of like um, pigs and dogs um, and what kind of wild animals that are mostly used in agriculture in Cuba. So those are some of the ways this animal is threatened. So a way for you to help uh, is to not rely much on meat um, and try going meatless one day a week. So I'm just going to rearrange Maisie right now. Get her back on that perch and give her some scratches because that's great positive reinforcement for her. Are there any other questions? No. Doesn't look like it. Well, thank you everyone for meeting Maisie today. Um, I wanted to thank Mifa again. Um, Today's Zudio is brought to you by MIFA on behalf of the UFUN College Investing Plan. Uh, and thank you, everyone, for joining in. We'll see you next time.